Behind all these closed doors live some of the most famous people from stage and screen for the last 40 years. Al Pacino. You might remember him from The Godfather, Sertlico, Bobby Deerfield. Oh, around the wagon walk, the wagon rascal, Christ, his eyes are going to be the Come in. Yeah. You're not too busy, are you? Busy? Paul, oh, you want to see busy? I've got a problem here. The bit you were talking about on Stella Street, you both were saying about Michael and Al, was it? Oh, um... What bit you were talking about? I was just going to say... Oh, we were just... You're right, Mike. Reminiscing, yes. Uh, Al. What bit was oh, that? Oh, wait a minute, because it was Mike's movie, wasn't it? Yeah. Mike's movie, and Al decided that Mike was Al. Yeah, you're too, you know, you're it's too like... small for the part. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> ca I'm casting around. Whatever. I'm looking for a tall guy, someone lofty. This movie's not <laughs> going to be called Bongo in the Congo. It's going to be called A Tall Guy in the Bronx. All the tall actors are going to do it. I've got this embarrassing problem. I'm tall. I can't get away from it. I'm a tall guy. Sylvester Stallone, Danny DeVito, me. I am taller than all those bleeding actors put together. Oh, 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 Mike, you're a good neighbor. I'll never forget the time you left me the hosepipe during the drought. I can't help it. I'm a tall guy. Now, then I was t talking about the scene where Jimmy Hill turns up with a, a cake mm. at Al Pacino's door, and Al goes yeah. into this big story about going to Lawrence Kasdan's. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence Kasdan. This is a great, a great uh, Lawrence Kasdan. This huge story about a cake whisk, an egg whisk. It's a great big speech. It was very good. It was very funny. It was. I, I tell it really well. Really, for this cake to be uh, a viable working cake, I'm going to need a little layer of marzipan across the top. And uh, for that, I'm going to need a catering appliance uh, or nozzle. And that, sadly, I do not have. Well, okay, well. There is uh, 50 pounds, okay? Do yourself a favor. Get yourself down a shop, get down a shop, and find yourself the biggest marzipan, ding dong, jingle bell, Santa Claus, shit cake fuck you can lay your fucking hands on. I got some great jokes. Did you know I have discovered this really funny? Very funny jokes, yeah. Oh, Covent Garden Piazza. Oh, yeah. Mime. Oh, oh those clowns, they're so funny. I could, I could, I'm doing a whole I could movie. for hours watching it. Yeah. You know what I like with Jimmy and Al around the table? And uh, mm. discussing a joke. Mm. Uh, was it no, that's not the funny bit. And then, <laughs> and no, the funny bit is when Lawrence Kasdan. Oh no, that's that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it, what was it doing the other week? Something about. Um... It was, um, I think script. you should. I think you should think about what you're laughing at, Jimmy. I think you should take. Oh, a I think you should take a good look at what, what you're laughing, laughing at. Jimmy. Yeah. About three years ago, you came round. I was about to go to New York for Christmas. You were baking a cake. You wanted a cake whisk. I told you to fuck off. No, no, uh, no, I didn't remember because uh, well, the thing is, I've actually been, uh, for the last few years, functioning in blackouts. Isn't and it? you know what I thought, Jimmy? As soon as I get back to New York, I'm going to bake a cake. Oh, really? And the funny thing is this. I went straight round to Jimmy Khan's house for, hey, guess what? A cake whisk. <laughs> no, wait. No, that's not the funny bit. Jimmy Khan did not have a cake whisk in the entire house. Oh. So, I went straight round to Lawrence Kasdan's house. And what do you think? Uh, he was out. <laughs> oh, better than that. Not only did he have a cake whisk, but he had a spare clean one he wasn't using. Hmm. I baked a cake. Um, yes, well, uh, the thing is, uh, <laughs> what made me laugh uh, was the first time you went round to uh, Jimmy Khan's house to borrow the cake whisk. <laughs> that was Jimmy, no. you should take a good look at what you laugh at. Oh, I will, yes. Because you're missing my joke doesn't just make me sad. It makes me fucking angry. So get out of my life. I've discovered these scripts for this thing called The Clitheroe Kid. One <laughs> small guy wizened like a monkey, dressed as a small boy. I read them and I realised it was absolute gold. So I, With you playing Clitheroe? Right? I took it to Sydney, Sydney Lamet. We're making it, yeah. I'll, I'll do my northern accent. Hey, Lofty. Hey, what are you doing there with that, that, that chip bag? Wonderful. <laughs> Brilliant. That's a great northern accent now. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and we got Jack Sinclair playing the cork of the north. The cork, the cork <laughs> of the north? Yeah. yeah. That's not going to come. That's, that's not filtered, is it? Look. Oh, no. It's it got filtered. Shaq, Shaq, we need Shaq and I.